Item Number SCP-3444 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures The Town of Nowhere has been comprehensively purchased by the Foundation, and has been converted into Site-90, the headquarters of the Unreality Division. Entrance into and out of nowhere is prohibited to any civilians. The use of SCP-3444 for recreational purposes has been approved. Any staff member with level 2 clearance or higher at Site-90 is permitted to use it up to two times per year, with priority given to those suffering from stress, overwork, or particular mental health issues. Description SCP-3444 is a train station located on the outskirts of the town of Nowhere, North Dakota. SCP-3444 contains only a single train line which, if one approaches from the outside, appears to abruptly end approximately 50 meters out of SCP-3444 on either side. Both externally and internally, SCP-3444 is decorated in a design reminiscent of a 1920s Art Deco style. Several signs throughout the station are emblazoned with the word Nowhere. A small digital monitor is present over the platform, constantly showing the phrase, Going Anywhere. SCP-3444 manifests at 12 a.m. each night. Should no human enter it, it will demanifest one hour later. Should a human correction, mammal, enter it, a golden event will begin. This results in SCP-3444 immediately disappearing to outside observers, before re-manifesting at a variable time several hours later. To the observer within SCP-3444, the golden event progresses thusly. A 484-type locomotive attached to a single 1920-style carriage will abruptly pull into the station. The locomotive and its carriage are hereafter referred to as SCP-3444-1. SCP-3444-1 is painted entirely black, except for the words Midnight Train, painted in white upon the side of the locomotive. The entrant into the station, hereafter referred to as the subject, will then be affected by a cognitohazardous effect. This effect compels the subject to abide by the script which governs the golden event and the silver events. The effect is mild to begin with, but intensifies in strength throughout the course of the golden event. A subject without cognitohazardous training ordinarily remains lucid until midway through SCP-3444-3's silver event. The subject will enter the carriage of SCP-3444-1. SCP-3444-1 will then proceed to leave the station. Once outside, it will become apparent from the significantly altered surroundings that SCP-3444 and SCP-3444-1 are now located in an entirely different locale, believed to be a different dimension. After approximately 5 miles of traveling, SCP-3444-1 will pull into another station, which is apparently identical to SCP-3444 except for the absence of the digital display, and with the signs displaying the name Nowhere instead displaying the word Origins. This station is henceforth referred to as SCP-3444-2. SCP-3444-1 will then stop, and will not resume its journey until the subject has alighted, left SCP-3444-2, entered the surrounding locale, and returned onto SCP-3444-1. Within this locale, the first Silver Event, henceforth referred to as Silver Event A, will occur. Each Silver Event involves the subject being compelled to act as the protagonist in an elaborately acted cinematic scene. These scenes are apparently improvised, but often involve complex choreography and singing. The landscape which appears outside each station is always thematically appropriate for the purposes of the Silver Event, as are the various individuals who inhabit each locale and participate in each Silver Event. These individuals are henceforth designated SCP-3444-9 instances. The landscape onto which each station opens and the nature of each Silver Event vary from subject to subject, often incorporating details from the subject's memories. The combination of all eight silver events in each golden event together appear to form a broad narrative, the details of which can be found below. Following the conclusion of Silver Event A, the subject will return to SCP-3444-1, which will then travel a further five miles to SCP-3444-3. This process will repeat itself through the train station designated SCP-3444-3 to SCP-3444-8. These stations are all identical to SCP-3444, with the exception of variations in the signage. The name of the station appears to be different in each station. 
Five miles after leaving SCP-3444-8, SCP-3444-1 will arrive at SCP-3444, which will re-manifest in the town of Nowhere, with some minor alterations detailed below. A brief silver event will occur here before the subject leaves the station. The cognitohazardous effect will then be removed from the subject, and SCP-3444 will demanifest. References to SCP-3444 first appear in October 1927, when an article about a disappearing train station appeared in the Capital Journal. The anomaly only came to the attention of the Foundation in 2003, when it was stumbled upon by researchers noting strong fluctuations in the area's Hume field. Below are details of SCP-3444-2 to-8, as well as the silver events taking place within them. Each experiment log gives an account of a particular subject's experience at a particular station. A brief summary of the events and the rest of the stations they visit is included in each log.